Alright guys, so first thing you're going to want to do when um, soldering with bullet connectors, you're going to want to tin your, tin your wires. Um, I'm going to be making an a XT6C to a female bullet adapter. Um, just tin your wires real good. It's This is a pretty important step for almost all, um, almost anything with soldering. Of course, clean your tip frequently on your soldering iron and apply fresh solder. Um, right before you start to solder another joint or or, or anything. Um, first thing you're going to do, clamp your bullet connector. Um, I like to use a vice grip. It's it, it's a really small one and I only clamp with a very light pressure. Um, and then you're going to tin your soldering iron tip and apply heat to the bottom side of the connector and then once it gets hot enough you're going to fill that in with solder. Almost like the XT60 connectors when you're doing those. Except these you can be a little more liberal with the heat because I don't have a plastic connector on top of them. And then that'll harden. Um, don't touch that. Don't touch your bullet connectors yet because they're going to be very hot. And I actually thought I had the connector raised up off the, off the, uh, the mat on the table, which I didn't. And I, I will try to hide these. I made some burn marks from my wife. Uh, hopefully she didn't watch this video, but so you got that clamped in there, you got the solder filled in. Um, you've already got your pre-tinned wires that you did. So next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your wire that you already tinned. These are the female bullet connectors, so the male would go on the other side. So I'm doing the negative wire first. You can see that's pre-tinned, a little sloppy there on the tip, but important step put your heat shrink tubing on now do not wait well actually the bullet connector if you're using the right size heat shrink tube you can slide it over the bullet connector so that would be okay in this circumstance but um just put the heat shrink tubing on the wire first so now you're going to go ahead and heat that back up just like you were filling it in with solder I've already done the other bullet connector, but I adjusted my camera angle so you could see it better this time around. So I just go ahead. I went ahead and edited that part out. Same thing. Um, apply heat to the bottom of the connector, and then what you're going to do is you're going to put the pre-tinned wire that you've already done into there once it's molten, and when it all melts together, you're going to pull the soldering iron away hold your wire still and it should cool in a matter of just a couple of seconds so here we go should become molten pretty soon here I don't know there we go you can see it put the wire in there give it a second it'll all meld together hold your wire in place hardened done see the burn marks on the, the uh, table tablecloth uh, yeah, my wife's not gonna be happy about that. I tried to cover it up. I actually flipped the flipped the mat over, and you can't see it from the other side. So, yep, I'm pointed out there. Uh, this is a voiceover, so I'm seeing it afterwards. I was like, uh oh. Thought I had the the bullet connector up a little higher. It was a little too low there. So here's the two bullet connectors um, already done. Next thing you're going to do is take your heat shrink tubing. After these, give them time to cool off before you start touching them because you will burn yourself. Um, slide your heat shrink tubing up just to the end of the female bullet connector. And these are exact, the exact same as soldering the, uh, the male connectors except with the heat shrink tubing. You won't cover the whole thing like this because most of the male side will slide into this. So get, just get your heat shrink tubing to the end. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can trim some of that excess off when you're done. Which I guess I'm attempting now. You can see you can just trim it right off. Doesn't matter. Um, next you're going to take a lighter or a heat gun or a little torch just to apply some light heat to shrink this tubing up nice and tight.
And that's about what the female bullet connector looks like when you're done with the heat shrink. Um, same thing on the other side. You're just going to pull your heat shrink up over it. Same thing, apply light heat with the lighter. Most of the time these bullet connectors are used on um, like electronic speed controllers. In my experience on um, say helicopters, T-Rex, um, 450, I don't know what the 500 use, I've never built a 500, but these are used a lot on the, the T-Rex 450 um, ESCs. So it's a good thing to know how to do. There we go, it's all done. And that's how they look and I will show you how the, the male connector goes into it and you'll be able to see the part that you would need to put heat shrink over on the male side is not very much so that's the male bullet connector I'm trying to get it in focus here there we go this will just, it just slides right in there So that's how it'll go, and when you're done with the mail, you can see that's how far up you'll put the heat shrink. It's just right up to the other one, right on the ridge. <clears throat> but um, that's it for now, guys. I hope you enjoy the video, and it helps you out um, with soldering these bullet connectors. Um, see my other video for soldering other things, um, XT60 and JST.